Well, Joey Logano certainly made him earn it. How close were you to, to getting there to either get to his bumper or to get the pass completed? Weren't you watching the race? <laughs> I sure was. I, I could, it looked like you were there. I was waiting for the bumper, man. Yeah, we were close. Just not close enough. Uh, ran out of time there. I figured something out there towards the end. About 10 laps to go to, to make up some speed. Probably something that wouldn't last in the long run, but something to make up some speed. And got a decent run off of two on the last lap. I was like, man, I can figure out where I need to be here. And uh, I thought I could maybe get to the outside and, and roll momentum. I don't know. I mean, I couldn't roll the bottom and get enough drive off of four either way. So I, my only move was to go up and uh, started getting there. And then it slid up and I got tight and I couldn't turn underneath them. But uh, fun race. Just uh, Gosh, it's three weeks in a row. I feel like we had a car that could win the race, and we haven't won. So that's a little frustrating. But when you're when you're frustrated with second, that's a that's a good sign about where your, your team's at. So a um, couple little things kept us from winning. But uh, you know, overall, I felt like we had a great car. Just a uh, little bit of execution, things we got to clean up. So heck of a show, though. Joey Logano, second place, Mike. <laughs> Let's join Jamie. Hard fought battle and Clint Boyer brings it home third and thought for a little while this could be your night. But I heard you say you got the wall. How much did that impact your car? Uh, no, I mean, at the end of the day, we drove up to him and, and it just, you, you get terrible tight behind people. We was already fighting a front end. I don't know, we've, we've had trouble with this thing all weekend long and made some good adjustments, kind of woke it up with the rear end, but the front end still did not turn, you know what I mean? So everybody struggles. Yeah, that's what's fun about this place. It is a challenging racetrack, and I just got to him, and I couldn't couldn't keep the, the nose, you know, with air on it, and, and it got really tight. And, and as I kept getting, you know, running in his wake, he kept getting tighter and tighter and tighter, and all of a sudden Joey run us down, you know, and next thing you know, he's on the outside of you, and the rest is history. Um, you, if, you couldn't get somebody. If somebody got there outside, you were done. Joey got me, and I knew if I raced him door to door, Kevin was going to get us too. Um, just, you know what I mean? I, I don't know whether I could have done any different. Um, you know, those cars take off with a lot more speed than we've had um, all year long. Um, we seem to run them down on a long run, but we got to work to do to, to find a short run speed. But all in all, it's a good day for us. Just, man, damn it, you hate to get that close. But our, our Fords were fast. Again, uh, Haas Automation, this car, I always said this car is good looking, and I want to get in victory lane. I thought this was our night, but I um, have to wait for next time. Clint Boyer had a great run tonight, but it's Martin Truex who is celebrating with Joe Gibbs in victory lane.